Hey YouTube, welcome to my next vlog series. Today we are at this three-story brand new freehold tropical modern bungalow house today. And my buddy, a special guest of today, Ihan, is here to check out this house, a new listing that I have in the hottest neighborhood in Daman Sara Heights. Let's go. Now we are at the three-story bungalow sitting on top of this freehold land of 9,300 square feet built up size of 9,200 square feet So here is where you have the guard post Here is where you can park four cars And next to the main gate, you have this uh, small gate that leads you with a pathway to your main entrance with this 4.5 meter cantilever canopy which is served as an entrance roof and the other pathway is where it leads you to the swimming pool and the backyard tropical garden. Now, let's check out the house. Sean, so this house is um, designed by a well-known architect from Philippines which is known for building bungalows, Mr. Bart Vista. So to Bart Vista, his belief is that the landscape, architect and interior should not be divided. It should be treated as one. So this grand living space here is where you get a feeling of it. You can feel the connection of the indoor and the outdoor. For the living space, it's located at the southeast. So here is where you get the morning sun. Mm. So what the architect did here is he built a floor to ceiling double volume aluminium window frame with glass walls. So here is where you can receive the abundance of natural lights into this space. Well, I think you can also see right, <coughs> right. where the interplay between organic and man-made elements are. So you can see the main selling point of the property is actually the swimming pool. Yes. This is based on first impression, doing so big, right? But right. then, what I really like is the balance between built up and the entire landscape and natural features. So if you look into the landscape, you look into the outdoor space, then slowly cascading to indoor space, right? Right. And indoor space also because, now what you mentioned, uh, that triple height, right? Hmm. Is this a double measure? or a triple volume? I don't know, based on whose height. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's <all> you can. <laughs> Yeah, but, but overall, it's really that kind of a new living lifestyle where when you buy bungalow last time, you want build up, right? Now right. people no longer want that type. They would rather go for quality of space right. or quantity right. of space. So the balance between the outdoor and the indoor. Yeah, very important. Which people right. think differently. Right. Like me, uh. right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Well, if you want to know about Sean's perspective about this house, you can click the link above because he is creating a video on this house as well. So we were at the living space where the nature lights comes in. Now let me bring you around the house. First, if you notice around this house, you don't see any aircon units. That is because all the aircon units are hidden behind this timber panel with ventilation slacks. Here is where you have two speed unit aircon and here is where you have the control room and you have the shoe rack room there as well. So this is the main entrance. So once you walk into the foyer, here is where you get to enjoy the view of the swimming pool and the timber patio right in front of you. So here is where you have the connection between the exterior outdoor and the indoor. Here is where you have the powder room. So the powder room comes with a full marble tiles flooring up to the wall, up to the ceiling. Talking about marble, the flooring at this house is Crema Mafio marble from Spain, which is one very um, highly demand marble that everyone is uh, sorting after, especially for bungalow house because it's a kind of limestone. So when you have limestone at home, if you're walking around the house barefoot, even in the cold weather, even under aircon condition, you can still feel the warmness on your feet. And where we are at here now, before we enter into the kitchen and the dining is the widespread gallery hallway. Here is where you can display your favorite paintings and with this glass wall here, this is where the abundance of natural lights come in to enhance the beauty of the painting. And this is the private lift that leads you up to the first floor and the second floor. Now, let's check out the kitchen. Before we go to the kitchen, here's a space I want to tell you about. So here you have a pantry space here which you can use it as a wine chiller room or you can use it as a food storage room. So one thing I love about this kitchen is it's located next to the backyard garden. When you have such a beautiful landscape next to you, please don't cover it up with wall. Always welcome it with this white glass window. 
So during your cooking time, you can open up a window to feel the air. At the same time, you can appreciate the beauty of the landscape. So for this kitchen size, it's considered pretty huge for a bungalow's kitchen. Because a usual bungalow kitchen has a U-shaped kitchen with a kitchen island. But for this one, you have a six-seater hardwood breakfast table there as well. So the whole kitchen is done by Bofi Kitchen. The countertops is some um, scissor stone quartz countertop. So you can see all the appliances are from Bosch and Beko. And here is where it leads you to the wet kitchen, the maid room with attached bathroom. And we have another outdoor cooking space at the back there if you are doing heavy cooking. Now, shall we see where is the food served? Ah boy, ah, foods are ready. So where do we have our dinner and lunch? This is the space, the dining space, where you have a panoramic view of the garden, the pool, and the cabana. So here is uh, spacious enough for you to have a 12-seater dining set. Sitting right next to Italian, Catalan brand buffet table with um, diamond-shaped timber door. And if you want a little bit of outdoor, you can open up the window there. And here is where you can open up the window to welcome the air into the house. And this door is where it leads you to the pool deck area and the cabanas. Look at the space here. What I like about this house is um, it really has the balance of the outdoor space and the indoor space. Unlike a traditional bungalow house where 80% of the lands are all occupied by the built up, but here is where you really get the relaxation. So one thing I like to point out here is the swimming pool is located at the center of the house. So the whole interior of the house is wrapped around this pool. So from every corner of the house, from the ground floor, first floor, and even the second floor, you get to enjoy the view of the landscape and the pool, even from your grass private leaf. As you are going out, you can still enjoy the view there. Where's the best place for BBQ? Of course, right next to the swimming pool. So the pool area is where you can have your party. Wow, the kids are running around in the garden. They are swimming around in the pool. And here is where you have an additional space, which is the cabana. Okay, so this is a space where you can use it as a guest room or private gym. Well, guys, what would you use a cabana for if you have this at home? Please comment down below. Give me some idea. I'd like to hear from you. Now, let's check out the upstairs. Before we go out with the private lift to the first floor, there's one thing that I'd like to point out to you here is this um, Chengai Wood patio here. So this is where you can do your reading and a special space for you to escape from the daylight if you're someone who doesn't like to get tanned. Now let's go out. Now in the first floor, you can see the flooring is made of Burmese teak wood, which is highly durable. This is the floor where you have four bedrooms. One of it is master. Now let me show you the mezzanine floor living space. This is a mezzanine floor living space, an extra space in the house. And from here, you can get to see the vertical grand living space here. So here is where you get a view of the pool, the landscape, and the whole structure of the buildings. And here is where you have a timber balcony bridge that leads you to the master bedroom. So another connection from the master bedroom to the living space here. And here is where you can have the view of the pool. And this is big enough for you to have a two-seater tea set here for you to have your morning tea. Now let's check out the room. The bedroom that we are checking out now is not the master, but just one of the bedroom, but you can see the size. The size is huge enough for you to have a teen size bed, a study table. And some of the bedroom come with a very stylish kind of window design, which most importantly bring in the abundance of natural lights into the house. Every bedroom comes with built-in wardrobe that is made of American cherry natural timber veneer. And all the bedrooms come with a attached bathroom where for the bathroom, you have this nitro granite tiles from floor to the wall and you have the windows here as well. So it's basically a moving condition for you. At the other end of the first floor, here is where you have another two bedrooms and here is where it leads you to the master. So once you enter the master, here you have a secluded study area and the master bedroom comes with a size of 500 square feet, which is huge. So you have a wide window, you get a panoramic view of the building, the greenery, the pool. And here is where it leads you to the walk-in wardrobe area. Check this walk-in wardrobe area out. Isn't this huge? And at the center here, you can even have another cabinet for your watch 
and wallet collection. And the master bathroom, of course, you have the his and hers. Okay, you have a big enough space. So what the architect did here is he opened out here have a sky glass roof here. So where you get the natural lights to come in and with this wall, which is a China black marble wall. And another corner of the master bedroom is where it leads you to the roof balcony. The other side of the master bedroom is where it leads you to your own private roof balcony space. So this is a space where you can convert it into your own jacuzzi. Or uh, if you know of any other good idea what you can do with this space, please comment below. So here you have your planter box where you can have your favorite tree. And here you have this uh, spiral staircase where it can lead you directly down to the swimming pool, the garden, and even the dining space. Now let's check out the second floor. Here you have a 90 degree balustrade with tempered glass here. And at every floor, first floor and second floor staircase area, here is where you have a random mix of aluminium and glass slats. So it gives you a little bit of tropical feeling. But it's really functional because um, if you want some air, you can leave it open. And on the top here is where you have the FLW Frank Lloyd Wright inspired stained glass, which brings in the natural lights here. Here is where you have an AV room. Okay, so this is your mini theater, your AV room. If you love to sing, this is perfect for you to be a karaoke space. And there we have another junior suite. Come. So before we enter to the junior suite, this side is where you have another storage room area. So talking about storeroom, we have around two to three storage room area in this house. This is a junior suite. So in this junior suite, you get the same kind of stylish window design here. And this is the roof top balcony where you get a perfect view of the palace. Just look at this. How many houses can come with this kind of view? Hey, wait, what about the ending? Come, 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 come. Okay, that's all about this house. If you'd like to find out more about the bungalow house and this beautiful house, please click the link below. I'll be happy to serve you. Thank you for watching MPTV. I'm Peter here. See you.